What's up you guys, my name is Hutch and I make videos and put them on the internet. Jumping right into it, Movie Talks is just going to be me shooting the shit with you guys about a movie. So um, the first movie that I want to discuss with you guys is a hidden gem that's on Netflix and it's called The Vicious Kind. And it is a story about a guy named Caleb who lives in, uh, I don't know, some snowy midwestern state, I think. His character is uh, played by Adam Smart, I believe the guy's name is. Adam Scott. That's his name. Caleb is the main character. He's very angry because he was just cheated on about two weeks prior to the opening of this film. And the opening of this film is him picking up his little brother, which is a guy named Peter, um, from the train station, I believe, and then taking him to pick up his girlfriend, who maybe lived in the area, I don't know. Her name is Emma, and, and she's the, uh, the second lead in the movie. There's two leads, there's Caleb, and then there's Emma. And then you have Caleb's little brother, and Caleb's dad, and Peter's dad. Caleb's dad is played by J.K. Simmons, he was in Spider-Man 1 and 2 and 3, he played the uh, editor of the, whoop, sorry, the audio might have. He played the editor of the Daily Bugle, and um, he's been, he's really good in indie films like Juno, Really good comedic timing, and uh, he was just perfect for this role. And so his name in the movie is Donald. That's right. So it's Donald, Peter, Caleb, and Emma. So we find out early on that Caleb is really pissed off, and he, uh, he he's very good at being funny when he's angry. Real good. So the movie, just to, to let you know, it's, it's sort of a dark comedy slash rom romance in a weird, fucked up way, and you kind of find out what I'm talking about by the end of the movie, but Caleb's character is just a brilliant, like he's like good comedic comedic timing, and um, he's got some side characters like JT, for example, is like co-worker, he does construction, and JT is not very smart or intelligent, and um, the banter between JT and Caleb throughout the movie is just fucking hilarious. The actor Adam Scott just plays so well, so well off of every character in that movie. And um, you'll be laughing at times that, that will sort of just make you uncomfortable um, because the movie does make you really uncomfortable at times. It's graphic. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. This especially the sexuality. There's some sex scenes in there that are just really graphic, and I mean graphic in a in a sense that they're just super realistic. Like I, I watched. There's like two two sex scenes in that movie in particular where it's like, that looks about right, yeah. And that kind of throws people off sometimes, especially if they're watching a movie and especially if they're on the younger side. So keep that in mind, although shit, now I've just sort of advertised it. Um, this is not for kids, just so you know. I've shown a number of people this movie and especially people that have been through tough breakups or uh, being cheated on or cheating on someone else. Betrayal, betrayal is sort of one of the themes of, uh, of the vicious kind. And I don't want to give anything else away about the movie. I just want to say that the effect that it had on me, I, I was, there was one scene where I was crying. It was, it was like dad son stuff, and, and that shit just gets me going. Dads are just fucking sensitive shit for, for us, for us dudes, and uh, they are for girls too, but um, it's just different for us. The movie had the, the, the dynamic between Caleb and Peter, which I thought was like the, probably like the least interesting dynamic that was in the movie just because Peter's sort of young and not very smart and um, and so it's fun to watch uh, Caleb play off of Peter but Peter's he it was a good actor it was a good good acting job too and, and the role call, called for it but Peter's just sort of intentionally there to uh, he's he represents like naivete in a way um, in many ways and, uh, and by the end of the movie that that eh, I'm not gonna give it away then there's Caleb's dynamic with um, J.K. Simmons' character, Donald, his, his dad in the movie, where it's really, it's really tense, really aggressive. You know some shit happened, and you don't know what, but you know they're pissed off at each other, and then you find a little bit more as the movie goes on. And then there's Caleb's dynamic with uh, the side character, J.T., which develops and evolves into something that you don't expect it to. Caleb starts to open up more and more to people in weird ways because he hasn't slept in like two weeks and uh and yeah and then and then there's obviously his his uh there's there's caleb's dynamic with emma and that's sort of the main thrust of the film if i can use a pun his dynamic with emma is sort of what drives the entire movie and everything else is sort of there to illustrate why that romance developing is <clears throat> um is such an intense experience for all parties involved and uh, the result is some awesome acting, some really fucking deep laughs, some moments that will have you pausing and really thinking. And I just wanna say, like, this movie is not really too far off from a lot of people's experience, and I think it's sort of the darker side of 
what it is to open up to someone and be vulnerable and then allow yourself to get hurt. And then actually someone does that. If someone does betray your trust and hurts you, it'll take you to some dark places where you're just super angry. And so, I mean, I've been cheated on. And so the, the character, Adam, Adam Scott's character, Caleb, I fucking loved that character. In a lot of ways, I identified, <laughs> except he pulled it off a lot with a lot more grace than I did. He was actually able to still be funny, and uh, that's why it's a movie, and that's why real life fucking sucks sometimes when you get your heart broken. Let me know if you guys have already seen this movie, if you guys haven't seen this movie. Uh, if, you, if you watch it, then um, come back and leave a comment. Let me know if you enjoyed this recommendation. Um, and if you guys want sort of different, different approaches to movie rants, then just sort of let me know. But a lot of you guys were asking for... Uh, movie videos and so here's my first test trying that out anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I think that's gonna do it bye